Was the 2020 vote in Wisconsin clean and fair? Yes. Kathy Bernier is a Wisconsin Republican state senator. She told us widespread voter fraud is all but impossible in Wisconsin and calls the talk of voter fraud a charade that will hurt Republicans at the polls. If there is massive voter fraud, why wasn't it proven in Georgia after three recounts? Why wasn't it proven in Arizona after the forensic audits? And why wasn't it proven here? Because it cannot be proved. But Wisconsin Republicans can't seem to get past 2020. Republican Robin Voss, the powerful Speaker of the Assembly, appointed former Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice and former Deputy Associate Director of Outreach, Diversity and Inclusion in the Trump administration, Michael Gableman, to head up the investigation. After being tapped for the job, Gableman told the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, like most people, he didn't have a comprehensive understanding or even any understanding of how elections work. Yet right after the 2020 election, he told a Trump crowd their votes had been stolen. Michael Gableman blames what he calls a botched election on the bipartisan Wisconsin Elections Commission, which was created several years ago by Republicans in the legislature. When we say that the election in Wisconsin was free and fair, we're not guessing. We know that because we have audited the election. We have recounted the election. We have canvassed the election. There have been court decisions that have looked at the election and affirmed the result. Megan Wolf was unanimously confirmed for the Wisconsin Elections Commission by the Republican-controlled state Senate almost three years ago. I don't give any deference to uh, political pressure, so people trying to sway us to implement elections in a way that might be beneficial to one party or one candidate or the other. The Bipartisan Elections Commission had to make snap decisions, reinterpret election laws to fit unprecedented circumstances, all done transparently in public Zoom meetings. Gableman draws a salary of $11,000 a month. He's made little attempt to be transparent or bipartisan. His investigation has been so secretive, a judge ruled it violated Wisconsin's public records law. In your estimation, is that a credible investigation? No. Just flat out no? No. People's Freedom to vote is a, a sacred right, and they take that very seriously. But then there's other people that I think are trying to weaponize misinformation to mislead people. 